Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, we have just a chatty get ready with me where I'm pretty much going to tell you guys about my failed sponsorship, how I'm kind of over brands and what I want moving forward into 2024. So you guys want to see all of that plus some of the new makeup that I have been trying out. Well then definitely keep watching. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and dive right on in because I just I just want to sit here and just talk to you guys. So the products I'll be trying today are products that I either got in PR that I haven't tried yet or products that I paid for myself. I do have a video coming out. I don't know if it's gonna be later this week or early next week where I have some more drugstore makeup try out for you. I'm gonna feature some of it today because some of it did come in early, but the rest will be featured next week. But we're just gonna go ahead and just get into the video. So I hope everybody had a beautiful, beautiful New Year's. My New Year's was very, very low key because I had spent um, Friday to Saturday in the hospital, <laughs> which is something that I've never done in my entire life. So there is definitely a first for everything, but I will save that video and story time for another video because I will go into detail about why I was in the hospital, what it was like being in the hospital, worst fears coming to fruition while I was in the hospital. I will tell you guys everything, but I'll save that for another video because today's video, I kind of just want to talk to you guys about my, um, I guess, frustration with brands and what I want to happen for 2024, like my goals and just kind of catch you guys up on everything. So I'll start off by putting on the Benefit Goof Proof, Goof Proof, Goof proof brow powder. Wow, I can talk. <laughs> so um, I'll kind of start off with my my first sponsorship that never came to be. I call it a failed sponsorship because it's, but it's not really a fail because I'm the reason why it didn't happen. But let me explain. So if you guys know that back in like 2019, I believe, 2019, I got my first ever FabFitFun box. They had reached out to me absolutely they could send me a box and I was just absolutely dumbfounded that a brand is big and fat, fat fit fun wanted to send me a box to unbox my channel and I said oh my gosh absolutely now in that video I remember I made a joke because I was given a discount code for you guys to use to save ten dollars off your first purchase and that code was like never active so I felt like such a freaking idiot because I sat here and did this video, which I had a lot of fun in. Don't get me wrong. I had a lot of fun with that video, but I sat here and kept pushing this non-existent code. And so then I felt like an idiot going, oh, well, you know what? Psych guys, I really don't have a code. Um, for some reason, it's not active. And I remember I reached out to the person being like, hey, I just want you to know that code that you gave me is an active. And that person completely ignored me and never, ever, ever got back to me. So that code was never ever a thing for me, but I did use, but I did um, instead turn around and tell you guys, oh my gosh, I have a pimple right here. Ah, I did turn around and tell you guys like other people codes that you guys can use that had codes at that time. So I had been unboxing FabFitFun for a while and then eventually I ended up um, stopping because I just, I don't know, got tired of paying like $250 per year for the box. So I ended up stopping. And then I think it was earlier this year or sometime last year, FabFitFun actually reached out to me to say, hey, you know, can we send you a box? And this time there was no st stipulations. They weren't looking for anything. They weren't looking for an unboxing, nothing. They just said, can we send you a box? And I said, sure. They didn't offer code this time, which I was perfectly okay with. And I had a lot of fun. I really did enjoy unboxing the FabFitFun box. So like I said, I have been using them for several years. I'm pretty well quaint with how FabFitFun works. So it was back in like, I think it was, you know, November, or it was like early December, FabFitFun reached out to ask if they can do a sponsored video. And I was like, wow, like, are you serious? This is my first time ever doing a sponsored video with a big brand. And I was like, wow, okay. Yeah, I'm absolutely all for that. Cause I really don't get sponsorship opportunities. I think because at the end of the day, I'm just a really small content creator. I don't have the numbers that people are looking for. I don't have the engagement that people are looking for. So they kind of see me as a wasted investment. And I know you guys will be like, oh no, don't say that, don't say that. But from a brand's perspective and from a business perspective, 
I don't have enough of a following and engagement for them to want to invest. And it's not me thinking that, like, I think I'm good enough. I think I'm deserving enough, but the brands don't think I am. And it is what it is at this point. I've accepted that fate long ago. So um, I was really surprised that they wanted to do a unboxing. So I sent them my rates because they asked me for a media kit. And so I sent them my media kit, I sent them my rates and they got back to me and said, mm, yeah, no, this is our budget. We're not gonna pay you that much money. And it's not like I'm asking for like, you know, five digits over here. I'm not asking for outrageous money whatsoever. Um, I base my rates off of like what I see um, according to like social media blue books and stuff like that. And I talked to my amazing friend, his name is Cody J. Uh, you guys have heard me talk about him before. I do editing for his channel and he is a social media coach. He also um, is a content creator and he is freaking amazing at understanding contracts, whitelisting, perpetuity, how to do usage rights. He is so freaking fantastic and he's so educational. He's amazing to follow, especially if you're a small content creator and wanting to start off on YouTube or in any of the social media platforms. He is so amazing at coaching you in the right direction and getting you to really understand the business side of it and how to really utilize yourself to the best of your abilities. So he taught me to never settle and to realize that brands have more of a budget than what you're willing, brands have more of a budget than what they're willing to say that they do. Um, let me just quickly carve out my brows. I'm using the Jaclyn Cosmetics Concealer, which we'll talk about in a little bit because <laughs> I got some tea there, which I'm pretty sure you guys already know, but let me just quickly carve out my brows. So Cody has taught me that brands would tell you a number and say that this is their budget, but he also taught me he also told me never to settle and to always negotiate because they always have a higher budget. They just want to pay you the lowest, I mean the absolute lowest number possible. And unfortunately for me, I have accepted it every single time because I never felt like I was good enough to ask for more. So I finally did. Now before I tell you that, I do want to go in with this new palette. This is the Land of Enchantments palette by Inslee Ring Cosmetics. My palette finally came in. Um, I did order this on launch day and it took over 20 days for it to get to me. Business days, by the way. They don't count weekends or holidays. So it took 20 business days to get to me. And I will say this is a very, very gorgeous palette. I took the liberty of going ahead and swatching it and I was just wow absolutely dumbfounded with how gorgeous these swatches are i mean like they are so unbelievably creamy and buttery i am just like oh these are so freaking good truly truly impressed with them i absolutely love the outside packaging i think the outside packaging is so beautiful very very nice i know i'm kind of late on reviewing this so that's why i'm not doing a standalone review because when it comes to Inslee Rain that I noticed is that they have a very, very long wait time. So right now they did launch a cold moon palette that I really wanted to get, but I did pass on because it's gonna take over 20 business days just for it to be processed and then shipped to you. That's not including like shipping time, like literally 20 days to process your order, not including weekends or holidays. And as a content creator here on YouTube, I don't have the luxury of just waiting over a month for something to get to me because by that point there's already a new product release that people are talking about so as much as i want to keep trying Inslee rain i feel like this is one of those brands that i might just have to buy personally for me and not really too much for just dedicated reviews or reviews because i just don't want to wait a month after the product has launched for me to review it when they already have a new palette like by the time i got this they already were doing their cold moon palette and i was like well this is like ColourPop all over again. Remember how ColourPop used to do that? Like by the time you finally got your collection, they already had three more launches. That's kind of how this one's doing. And uh, it's kind of sad because these are so freaking beautiful. I really do enjoy the formula, but I just feel like it's one of those brands that like, I'm probably not gonna shop that often just because it just takes way too long. And I get it because it's a small indie business and they're doing so freaking well. But just from a content creator standpoint, I just don't wanna wait that long for a product to come in. So anywho, um, Back to my Fat Fit Fun story. I'm gonna, since I'm gonna use pastel colors, I already swatched these. I could tell that I'm gonna need to do, do like a color base. I'm gonna go in with two color bases. So I'm gonna do like a, a blue purple look. So we're gonna go in with a blue purple base and we're just gonna lightly go in these. So I'm just gonna start off with my blue base. I got, I got an email back when they told me what their rates were. I was like, damn, you guys are really like undercutting me. Like this was my rate. And you guys saw that I said, nope, we don't have a budget for that. This is what we're willing to offer you. So I responded back saying, I'm really sorry. That's well below my budget. This is my rate. This is, I gave all the facts, like my insights and everything to prove that like I, I am good enough for this. And I countered it. 
And I said, I'm willing to do this much for this much. And they actually said, we accept. And I was so surprised because like I said, I have never advocated for myself before. Anytime any brand has ever reached out to do any sort of like sponsorship or like collab situation where like you take a product in exchange for whatever, I've always just said yes. I've never understood that I have a right to say no. I just said yes because I had a fear of missing out. I had a fear of being like, oh my God, I'm gonna miss out on this opportunity. They're never gonna wanna work with me again. So let me just take it. And I would really, really, really undersell myself so many times. And I remember even Cody one point saying, you're like really accepting a really low budget and you're really underselling yourself. And I said, yeah, but this is all they had. And he's like, they're lying to you. So I advocated for myself and I said, no, this is what I want. I was like, no, this is what I'm, this is my rate. And they accepted. And I was really surprised. Cause like I said, I've never had that happen for me before where um, they're willing to work with me in that aspect. I'm gonna go into the shade called Transcend right here. So they said yes, and they sent the contract over and I signed it. Um, and then they were supposed to send me a email to like, let me pick out all the items that I wanted to pick for the collab. So I said, okay, perfect. So um, a week went by and they still hadn't sent over the email that tells me what's in the winter box. And they wanted the video to be posted before the 18th of December. And so we were slowly approaching that. And I was like, mm, I haven't heard from you guys yet. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Senj Beauty brushes. You guys know how much I do love Senj Beauty. Anyway, so they hadn't sent over anything. So I reached out about a week later because I knew that the 18th was pretty much approaching. And I said, hey, I still haven't gotten the email in regards to picking out the items that you guys want to do for our collab video. Um, are you guys gonna send that? Are you guys just gonna just surprise me with the box? I'm fine either or. And they said, oh my gosh, yes, let me quickly send that over. They said, so they sent over the Grin Platform Live. Now remember that name because I'm gonna talk about it later. The Grin Platform Live, they sent it over and I filled out the information, like my shipping address and all that type of stuff um, so that they can send me the box. And shortly after they sent that, um, my beautiful, beautiful friend and Linda from Glitter Fallout um, let me know that FabFitFun was having a little bit of a scandal and I was like, oh, what's going on? So apparently Elon Musk was on Twitter and he was kind of, or I guess X now, he was kind of going off about, I guess, Disney. I don't know the full context, but Disney pulling out of like their sponsorships with the brand. And he pretty much told Disney to go F themselves. Okay, flat out said on live TV, Disney can go F themselves. So um, Fafit Fun took it upon themselves to then jump on the bandwagon. And they created a little statement. And I know that Jen's Love, Jen Love Review did a deep dive review on this. If you guys wanna see the full context of it, go head over to Jen Love Review's channel. I'll have a link down below. She talked about this exact fat fit fun situation and was brought to my attention because of Linda. And then I saw that Jen did a review, on, did a deep dive on it. And I was like, what is going on? So fat fit fun jumped on the bandwagon of um, this political statement that Elon Musk said, go F yourself. And they decided to put their two cents in and they said that they believe in like freedom of speech and that um, in honor of, I guess what he, this guy said, I'm gonna go into the um, shade called Enlighten. They were gonna do a discount code. If you spend a certain amount of money, you can get like up to $300. If you spend like a certain amount of money, you can get like this $300 product for free if you use the code go F yourself. So, and it's literally go F-U-C-K yourself. I'm just trying not to say it on here because I just wanna be family friendly. <laughs> so they literally said go F yourself. So they made that statement and I was just so floored. They literally had a code that said, go F yourself. I was like, what the heck? Cause I keep my politics. I keep my religious belief. I keep all that stuff completely offline. Cause I just don't feel like this is a space for it. I'm trying to escape the realities of the world and come to YouTube and come to makeup. Cause it's something I really enjoy and love. And I'm trying to just escape of everything. All the negative we only see in like, um, every, all the negative we see out there in the world. I, this is my happy place. So I try not to bring any sort of like politics, religions, any of that stuff into this channel. So when they said that, I was like, are you serious? They really just put their two cents in. And then I loved when Jen Love did her video because it was very, very educational. And she had talked about how she pulled out her sponsorships and her work her partnerships with the brand that she has worked with like seven years with Fat Fit Fun. And I was just so like, I cannot believe that they had said this. Like they took a side and they decided to use the code go F yourself thinking that they could essentially be funny. So instead of making like a, a public statement saying they were sorry for 
pretty much trying to do a joke that did not go right or something from what they said. They just released it on their private Facebook account. They released the apology there, not really making a public statement anywhere else, but they just said it online. We're so sorry to their just private Facebook group. So I was just really like, wow, I cannot believe this is their behavior. So I actually reached out to FabFitFun and I said, let me read it to you. Oh, to the person, I want to reach out and thank you guys once again for wanting to partner with me. It truly does mean the world to me. Unfortunately, it's been brought to my attention about the recent ads post, about the recent ads posted on X with a certain coupon code. And while I know it's not your fault, I do find it a little distasteful. I think at this time, it's best if I cancel the sponsorship as our views do not currently align. I'm so sorry for any inconvenience this may have caused and I'm happy to send the box back if you guys have already shipped it. Again, I do appreciate you guys wanting to work with me and I hope you guys can understand all the best. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Sincerely, Allie Dawson. So I did reach out to them and they immediately wrote back saying, we completely understand. We just want to let you know that it was just a joke gone wrong. We were just trying to hype on the trend, but we completely understand you wanting to pull back and we'll absolutely go ahead and terminate the contract. And I was just like, damn, like, come on brands. Why do you guys have to like put your two cents into shit? So anyway <laughs> um they went ahead and they terminated it and um uh, about a week and a half later i got a box from fat fit fun in the mail and i was like oh my gosh fat fit fun sent me a box still so i reached out to the brand yet again and i said hey just let me know that i did receive this in pr go in with a little bit of glitter glue since we're using some shimmer i did receive this in pr would you guys like me to go ahead and send this back to you and they said nope absolutely not you can go ahead and keep it again we're you know, um, we wish you all the best. So, so, so sorry for any inconvenience this may have caused. Very sweet. They were very, very sweet. Very, very understanding. But like at the same time, I was like, this kind of sucked because I was looking forward. I'm going to shade called Divine Light right here. I was like looking forward to like actually like working with this brand. I was so excited to have like my first real like sponsorship opportunity. And wow, that looks like a mermaid. But I just could not in good conscience continue to work with the brand that just use that coupon code, go F yourself. I found it to be so distasteful. It does not belong in line with my own beliefs. And I just, I couldn't pull forward. I couldn't push forward with this. So I did cancel that sponsorship. And I was, you know, a little bum because like I said, it was my first real like sponsorship um, from a brand that I have, you know, no, for a brand that I have um, worked with in the past and have unboxed for years. And I was just really excited. And unfortunately I did pull it back. I have no regrets, absolutely have no regrets. I'm very glad that I did, but I did want to tell you guys that story. Cause I remember I did tell you guys in a recent video that like I had a sponsorship gone wrong and well, this is it. <laughs> this is my sponsorship gone wrong story where the first time I have a, 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 a legit, like legitimate good uh, sponsorship, it just doesn't pan out, but you know what? There's always another tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna go into the shade called Lunar Light right here. This is so freaking pretty. This shade right here looks like a freaking mermaid, by the way. It's gonna go in right in this little corner. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade called Faye right here, just a tiny bit. It's so freaking gorgeous. And we're just gonna kind of like blend that right here. Make it be like a nice little like mermaid shimmer lid. That'd be kind of cool, right? I can use that purple as an underbase like that. Ooh, you guys see that? That is really pretty. I wonder if I have like a blue shade I can use. I do. Okay, then I'm gonna go in the shade called um, Lumuria right here. And we're gonna put that right next. We're just gonna kind of just do like a shimmer shade all over the lid. I haven't done that in a long time. We could just use those matte bases. That's just like a beautiful colorful base and just Look at that. The Land of Enchantment palette might as well be enchanting and have like a whole like shimmer lid, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of um, the Dominique Cosmetics setting powder. You guys know I love using this to kind of um, blend out powder. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and I'm gonna do the other eye off camera because I still have more things to talk to you guys about about other brands that <laughs> I'm tired of, so. I'll be right, I'm back. They're on. These are actually really pretty. I'm actually gonna for forgo lashes. I actually wanna try some mascara. So we're just gonna go in with some primer. So I'm gonna keep using the Ciate London. This is the Watermelon, Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. So that was my experience with FabFitFun. Now I have another brand that pretty much told me I'm not good enough for them. Okay, so I'm not gonna say the brand's name because someone once told me don't burn bridges. And I believe in karma and I just um, don't wanna put any negativity out, in, out into the world. There's just, there's no point. I am 
keeping 2024 just as positive as possible just because I, I wanted to do it for myself. So I'm not going to call the brand out, but I'm just going to tell you my experience with them. So this brand has reached out to me several years ago and asked if we can work together and they would send me stuff in exchange for a review. And I had told them no at the time, um, which I'm really surprised I did because I'm not going to lie to you guys way back in the day. And you guys can go back and like look at my channel and pretty much see that it was pretty obvious. I was notorious for saying yes in exchange for content because I was young and I was naive and I didn't really know any better that I have the right to say, no, my work deserves to be paid for. So I used to only say, yes, I would do content in exchange for your free $2 product when it comes down to it. You know what I mean? So I used to say yes all the time. So I said no. And that was that. Never heard anything, never said anything. But then they reached out to me back in December and asked again. Well, they introduced themselves to me, like I don't know who they are. And they said they wanted to send me free product in exchange for content. And I pretty much told them, no, I do not work for free, you know, free product anymore. I'm really sorry. Um, here's my media kit. Here's my rates. And I waited to hear back from them. I'm going to go in, by the way, with the brand new. This is the CoverGirl Simply Ages Skin Perfector Essence. Um, I have the shade Light and the shade Medium because the shade Light Medium has been sold out. This one viral all over TikTok. It's sold out everywhere. So I have two shades. I'm going to kind of like mix them together. Apparently, you're supposed to apply this with your hand. Um, <laughs> so we'll see if I like this or not. Um, like I said, I got the shade Medium and Light because they didn't have Light Medium. So maybe the mix of the two can uh work so they reached out i'm gonna go in with i guess what is it i do like this medium oh oh and then what light oh this is weird medium light so oh Oh, I might have found too much. Oh, no. Oh. So this is supposed to turn into a foundation. And I don't think this is mixing with the Ciate London. <laughs> um, I don't think this is mixing. Oh, my God. It went into my pores. Do you see that? I'm going to dry down. What if I tap it in? What if I tap it in? tap it in with a sponge. Does this make it dry down a little bit more? That's not looking horrible. Wow, that, you know, that really looks kind of skin-like. Okay, we're just, we're just gonna go for it. So we're just gonna, um, we're gonna try to make this work. So anyway, so this brand reached out to me back in December and they wanted to do the same type of deal where they would give me free product in exchange for content. And I said, no, that this is my rate. And they took like five days to get back to me. And at this point, I kind of already talked about this with my other influencer friends. Like, hey, look what this brand kind of like offered me. Now, my other influencer friends have uh, also received something like that before. And some of them have gotten paid for their work and some of them have not. So, and like I said, I'm not going to say the brand name. So I'm not going to do it to anybody. But like legit, they were like, oh yeah, I've had something similar like this with them. Okay, so like five days later, the brand got back to me and pretty much told me that because of my size and my following, I'm not worthy enough to be paid. I'm not good enough to be paid because they don't see the return investment back for their brand. And I was pretty much like, wow, that is so freaking insulting. Like how you just can tell me that my size and following is not worthy enough to be paid for your cheap ass shit, essentially. So I was, I wrote back saying, okay, well, this is, this is what my rates are. Um, I just want to let you know that I know for a fact that you do work with other content creators with my size and my, with my size and my engagement and you happily pay them. So with that said, I wish you guys all the best and pretty much please don't contact me again because I just found that to be so insulting. They actually reached back out and said that they were willing to pay me this amount of money um, for this amount of work very little by the way because they need to see that my engagement and my following will be worthy of them does that make sense they would need to see that my code would be worthy enough for them to want to invest more money in me in the future it, it, it's an insult it really is an insult because you pretty much insulted me and then said well this is what we're actually willing to offer you 
So you have to prove to us that you're worthy for more money. It's not about the principle of the money. It's the principle of how you treated me and how you made me feel. Um, this is actually looking quite nice. <laughs> by the way, it is looking quite nice. It's very unique, by the way. It's very weird, I, but I kind of like like it at the same time, if that makes sense. It's very like skin-like. So anyway, um, I did talk about this with my other fellow friends and some have had amazing experience with this brand and some have had really horrible experiences. So at least I know that like I'm not alone, but as a small influencer, the smaller you are, sometimes the shittier these brands treat you and I'm so freaking over it. So pretty much I'm not gonna be working with this brand because I just don't really wanna work with someone that's just so willing to insult me being like your size and following is not worthy to be paid. I started off looking rough. I was like, mm, I don't know, but you know, it's kind of pulling itself together. It's kind of pulling itself together. It's very, 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 very skin-like, just so you know. It's a very skin-like um, feeling, but like at the same time, I kind of like it, that it's like, it looks nice. And it's like melting nicely into the skin. I probably use a different primer, but I'm still like testing out this primer, so that's why I used it. Either I will forego a primer, I'll just use something else in the future. But I actually am liking how this looks. All right, so next, okay, so next I'm just going with my Domini Cosmetics Concealer. I just really wanted to use kind of like a light concealer. It's just really pretty. It's kind of dark for it, but we're just gonna make this work. So needless to say, I am not gonna be working with this brand because I just found it to be really insulting that they found that someone, someone with my size and my engagement was not worthy to be paid. And it's not like I asked for a lot because I really, really, really don't. I, I do tend to undersell myself, but it's just the fact of how they went about it and treated me. I'm just kind of like, screw you. Cause I know that I'm not the only one they did this to. I've talked to other content creators and they've had very similar experiences. So I'm just kind of like, screw you. Like you're just not worth my time. You know what I mean? And you guys would be surprised at how often brands do treat smaller creators like this. And this is why, like when I was talking to my friend, Linda, we said that my word for the year would be um, advocate. Like you got to advocate for yourself before like, this year, I would have 100% been like, you know what? Yes, I'll take it because I was so scared of missing out on opportunity. I was so scared that if I said no to a brand, that was it. They'll never want to work with me again. I lost my whole opportunity. And I realized like how stupid that actually sounds, especially like when I say it out loud, because at the end of the day, I was settling, settling for way less, like way less. And I was perpetuating the issue that brands are still doing to a lot of younger creators, which is they want you to work for them for free for the bare minimum. They want you to create content for them that they use for advertising purposes to sell their shit for free. They want you to work for them for free in exchange for a like $2 mascara. That that's what that that's what it costs them in exchange for. And as a you know small content creator, that's pretty much all I'm ever offered is products in exchange for content. And I just don't do that anymore. I generally don't do that. Now, I don't mind if a brand reaches out and says, hey, can we send you some PR? And they just wanna send PR. Now that's fine. I'm more than likely to show off your stuff just because you want me to try it versus you demanding that I create content for you for free. Like I'm just so over it. And I've, I've literally have no one to blame but myself. I'm just gonna use the Soul Body like bronzer. I know to blame but myself because I legit used to say yes to this. I used to 100% say, yep, I will absolutely, you know, create content with you in exchange for product because I was just so scared that if I said no, I would never have the opportunity again. And for me, I look back on it going, that was so silly. Like you, you reached out to me and wanted to work with me. And then I'm over here going, I'll settle for the $40 that you're willing to offer me because that's all you keep telling me that I'm worth essentially. And it's just, I'm, I just, I'm not doing it anymore. And I just really want to put this out there. If you are a small content creator, someone starting off, please advocate for yourself. It doesn't matter if you have a hundred followers or 10 million followers, you have the right to be paid for your work. If a brand is wanting to use you, they reach, they, they contact you to create a video, create content for them that they could turn on and use and sell and make money off of, you have every single right to ask for compensation because that is your work. You're the one that's filming. You're the one that's editing. You're the one that's doing everything. And all they're doing is sending you, all they're doing is sending you mascara that probably cost them $2 to make. I'm sorry, but your time deserves to be paid for. And I just see it too many times where too many brands are reaching out to small content creators and wanting to send them products in exchange for it. And that's the only way that they're willing to work with you. And I absolutely hate it. I cannot tell you how many times this past year alone, brands have reached out to me and they'll send me the Grin Live platform. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's a platform that content creators use to work with brands. Now some brands will send me the Grin platform like Lancome. 
randomly starts sending me the grim platform and it's not me agreeing agreeing to create contact with them it's just me literally putting in my shade information my skin type information and my shipping address that's where that that's where the grim platform can be beneficial for brands kind of like a, a spreadsheet of your information so it's really easy for them just to send you stuff but there's other brands who like to sneak in contract deals aka boxing ipsy now that I don't have one anymore with them. I don't have a grand platform with them anymore where I have to agree to post every single month. But for a long time, I did. I agreed that I would post every single month, you know, in exchange for a free box. Now I didn't mind it because I generally really did love unboxing their stuff. And I still do. I think unboxing their stuff is just so much fun. But I was perpetuating the issue by saying, yep, I will make all this content for you for free. When I knew people who legit had legit sponsorships with them and they would be paid stupid freaking money. And I'm over here just going, oh, here's, here's my stuff for free. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just it's just the time that I finally just start advocating for myself because I, I deserve to. And I'm, I'm so tired of these brands. I'm gonna go in to the e.l.f. Camel Liquid Blush. This is in the shade called Perfect Peach. I'm at the place in my life where I'm just tired of brands just kind of like taking advantage and wanting you to work for them for free. I have already struggled my whole life would never feel like I'm good enough. I have literally battled and struggled with the concept of not being good, good enough my entire life. And there has been so many times that brands had made me feel the exact same way. Brands that I've absolutely loved had made me feel like I was so tiny and so minuscule to them and I just wasn't good enough and wasn't worthy to them. And I'm like, then why are you bothering, like wanting to like reach out to me? If you're gonna sit here and treat me like shit because of my following and my size, why are you reaching out to me to begin with? You know what I mean? So I'm just really kind of over it. Um, I'm making a change this year that I'm going to 100% stand up for myself. Like I said, I've never done it before. I'm gonna start just saying no to a lot more things because I don't care to have your product for free. Like, you know, yeah, as cool as PR is, at the end of the day, that's still a business. It's still work and they still want something out of you. But at the same time, I'll just buy your stuff. If I really want it, I'll just buy it. You know what I mean? Like I, I do like PR. It's nice because it's nice to have the product ahead of time so that you can get your review up and whatnot. But at the same time, I'm not going to sit here and just put in all this work for a brand to not even acknowledge. They demand that you work for them, but then they don't even acknowledge that you work for them. I can't tell you how many times brands have done that to me. Legit going, we need to see this work. And then they just absolutely refuse to acknowledge that you exist. And then they'll send you emails going, well, where's your content? Bitch, I freaking tagged you in it. What do you mean? Here it is. I tagged you in it. And then you just ignore the email again. All right, I'm gonna, cause I haven't used this enough. I'm gonna go into the Huda Beauty um, loose baking thing. I never bought the full size. I'm just gonna go with this for now. I'm just gonna quickly use the Benefit Brow Setter. Um, I will have on the screen what was sent in PR and what I paid for so that you guys know, cause I'm just kind of going off on a tangent here. But anyway, this is just one of the many things that had happened to me in 2023 when it came to brands. I'm just over the treatment that they do to a small content creator. You'd be surprised at how often this happens. And it happens to a lot more people than you think that it does. I just feel like, you know, I, like I said, I've struggled with self-worth my whole life. And the last thing I need is a brand to make me feel the same way too. Especially because like, I love doing this job, but at the same time, I open myself up to ridicule from the internet. And the internet can be very vicious. And the internet could also tell you that you're not good enough half the time. So I just don't need to hear it from a brand being like, oh, well, your following size makes it so that it's not gonna be the color that's gonna work for me. <laughs> your following size is, is just not worthy for us to wanna work with you. And I just, I'm over it. So in 2024, I made it my goal to advocate for myself. I will no longer accept treatment from brands that literally want you to do all this work for them for barely for them to even acknowledge that you exist. I'm just gonna go in with a ColourPop Flex Tyrion. And I guess I'm making this video to pretty much say advocate for yourself. If there's a brand, if, the, if there is a brand, there's a friend, there's a business, advocate for yourself. You have every right to say no. And I just never said no. I always just said yes because I was always so scared that I was going to miss out on opportunity because I'm saying no to something. And I'm so glad that I started to say no because I legit, even though these things are not working out because I don't like the treatment, have been saying absolutely not. I deserve to be compensated for my time. And I'm surprised that some of these brands have turned around and said, okay, you know, and that, that surprised me because I never would have advocated for myself before. I would have just said, said, you know what? I don't want to lose this opportunity. So let me just go ahead and just do it. Let me just do it. I think I'm gonna take the shade called Majestic right here. I'm just gonna lay this underneath my eye. What's, what's that's kind of like what happened there with brands. So moving on to like, kind of like what I want moving forward. Like I said, I want to advocate for myself and I want to say 
no more often because there's so many times and not just like with brands just in my personal life that I just say yes to the things that I generally don't want to do because I just have a fear of missing out and I have a fear of like letting down people I realized about myself and that's not something that like I'm proud to admit but I'm 100% a people pleaser I just say yes because I don't want someone to get upset or mad at me and I'm so scared that I'm gonna have the person walk away and be like oh wow wow I don't like her and so I say yes to so many things. And I'm just, I'm going to go, I'm just so over that because I'm making myself unhappy. I'm going to go in with the Physician Formula. This is the Diamond Mascara. Just got this in PR. But I'm going to start saying no to things because I generally have just been doing stuff that does not make me happy. And I'm doing it because I just don't want to let someone down. And, I, and I, I, I struggle with someone not liking me. And that's something that I hate admitting. But like if someone doesn't like me, it does bother me um, to an extent. Um, for certain certain issues, like I just move on and I don't care anymore. But to a certain extent, I would like, I don't know, I like to be liked. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's a human nature. <laughs> but I um, am going to start saying no. I'm going to start, you know, standing up for myself and advocating for myself in a way that I never have before. Because I just, you know, 2023 was a really, really rough year for me um, in so many different ways. And... I want to go into the new year with a new mindset. I'm going to go into the new year with a positive mindset. I am letting everything that happened to me go in 2023. I'm not holding on to any grudges, nothing. I'm letting everything go. I'm starting with a clean slate and I just, I just want to be happy. That's my biggest thing is I just want to be happy. And for a while there, I honestly haven't been. And I'm just going to be approaching things differently. So you guys are going to see a little bit of different things here on my channel. You guys are going to see me doing more content that I really do love and not sitting here buying every new makeup release because one, that's just so unrealistic. I just can't afford to keep up with it. But two, I actually like doing stuff like shop my stash. Like you guys know that back in like, I think it was like July or June, I started doing subscribers pick my makeup or once a month I would go live on YouTube and I'd have subscribers pick my makeup and it was only so much fun. I'm going to bring that series back, but with a twist. This time I'm doing subscribers pick my makeup live but this time instead of you know having you guys pick my makeup and then film a youtube video we're just going to do it right then and there we are going to go live once a month it'll probably be a thursday or a friday towards the end of the month where i'm just going to sit back relax we're going to go live on youtube together and i'm going to sit here and do a full face of makeup that you guys pick for me live and i feel like that'd be so much fun to me that's a lot of fun i really do enjoy doing that I'm also going to start creating some book content over on my other channel, like R for Life. I really want to bring back video game streaming because I used to love playing video games. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do that here or on my Florida Life channel, but I definitely just want to like spice things up just a tad. And I'm also going to be doing more shorts. Now, you guys saw that I have already been doing shorts here on my channel. YouTube loves shorts. So like, I feel like I kind of have to appease them just a little bit, but I'm going to start doing some more shorts and then just start doing... Just more content that makes me happy. I want to bring back more drugstore stuff because I love doing drugstore makeup and doing full face of stuff. But like I used to feel like I, I used to feel like I had to do a full, full face. Like I had to have primer to, to setting spray, a full face of everything. And now I'm realizing I don't need to do that. I could just have a few products and just try them out and just have a good time. Because you know, after spending the weekend at, this ho at the hospital, I just realized that, you know, life is way too short and I just generally want to make the best of it. I just want to be happy. I just want to be kind and make others happy, create content that's fun and engaging for all of us and just stand up for myself in a way that I never had before and pretty much tell these brands that treat me like shit to uh, F off <laughs> essentially, but in a kind way, because like I said, I just, I'm so over feeling like I'm never good enough for these brands. And I am just realizing that you know what I am good enough you're just not good enough for me because you think that I'm not worthy because of a freaking number behind me and not the person itself and I want to try more things I really want to try more things this year so I really feel like this is going to be a good year I feel like good things are going to happen this year and I'm just going to remain as positive as possible um, I already have some fun exciting things I'm looking forward to coming up and um, yeah, I'm sorry that I kind of went on a rant with you guys. I just kind of want to tell you guys what happened. And I hope you guys know that like, I wasn't meaning any like shade or tea towards Fat Fit Fun. At the end of the day, they were very, very sweet with how they handled the whole situation. They were very kind, they were very understanding. It really sucks that it didn't work out, but I morally could not sit here and stand behind them and work with them at all. And um, yeah, so I said no to that. And then, like I said, the other brand that pretty much told me I was not, I was not good enough for them 
I'm just not gonna let those those things bother me anymore because for me, I realize it's not my loss, it's their loss. Um, I'm gonna go into this ColourPop. This is like a little kiss me lip set. I am gonna be trying out new lip liners because if you guys did not see, Jaclyn Cosmetics officially announced on their Instagram page that they are officially closing down. Um, I know a lot of people sit here and said that they were, you know, it was gonna happen for, I know a lot of people were saying, oh, she announced it, you know, months ago. She never did announce it. She said it was like Be Cozy and Jack and Roxanne that was closing. She never said anything about Jacqueline Cosmetics, but it's officially closing. It says on, it says online though for the foreseeable future, whatever that means. I'm gonna just go in with this ColourPop. This is the Beeper lip liner for the foreseeable future. I don't know if this brand's ever gonna come back. It's kind of sad because my favorite lip liner bourbon is sold out. So it means I can't find it anymore. So now I have to find a replacement actually a really pretty color it looks very similar to the Jaclyn Cosmetics bourbon lip liner <gasps> I wonder if it is okay so this is the color pop and then this is the Jaclyn bourbon a little off but very close all right I'm gonna try the brand new Maybelline lifter this is the plumping chili pepper lip gloss from Maybelline you guys know that my favorite shade is the shade called crystal from them i absolutely love this lip gloss so i'm curious to see what this lip plumping one is going to be i have the shade called coco zing oh it smells really good to finish it off i'm just going to use my milk hydro grip setting spray i'm going to put a little bit of flexitarian in my inner corner and brow bone and that's going to pretty much complete the look okay and uh this is the uh Final look. Oh my God, my lips are legit on fire. <laughs> okay, so this is the final look. I have to say that everything that I tried, I really freaking like. There's not one product that I, one product that I didn't like. I will say this Ensley Rain Land of Enchantment palette. Oh my God, this is such a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous palette. Like I said, it really is kind of unfortunate that they do take so long to ship out orders because I would love to purchase more from this brand, but man, this was, this is worth it. So I, I may still purchase stuff, but you may never just see a dedicated review because of how long it takes, but I do really think this is beautiful. And I will say this CoverGirl foundation, she's weird. Like she's weird, but like at the same time, I actually really like it. So we're going to keep testing this out to see how I feel. But I just kind of wanted this video to be more about, you know, yes, I tried out some new makeup, but pretty much kind of tell you guys what's been going on. So like I said, I'm, I'm really sorry for kind of ranted and rambled on in this video and kind of just like word vomited at you guys. I just kind of like started talking and just like all kind of came out because I've been holding on to it for so long. But like I said, I'm just really over the treatment that brands give, you know, not just me, but small content creators as a whole, they kind of look down upon us. And it's really sad because I feel feel like we are just as it's really kind of sad because I feel like we're just as valuable as any big content creator out there but for some reason brands don't see it and the only way that they will is if we make a change so that is why I'm standing up and saying no and I'm advocating for myself it doesn't matter how small you are you deserve to be paid for your work and your time never ever ever forget that and please don't let a brand make you feel any type of way because I'm so tired of brands always making me feel like I'm not good enough based upon numbers because it really does start to affect your mental health at one and really starts to just eat away your mental health and I just want to say that you are good enough, you are worthy enough, and you are absolutely deserving to be paid for your work and time. Because remember, this is something you are doing for them. You are working for them. You would never go work at McDonald's, for example, for free. Why would you do the same thing for a brand that's going to take your work and freaking sell it to make them money? Absolutely not. So that is why my word this year is to advocate. Advocate for yourself, for your happiness, for your job, for your finances, for your life, everything advocate. That is my word for 2024. And that is what I'll be doing, not just when it comes to brands, but when it comes to my personal life and my happiness, my mental health, everything I will be advocating for myself because I just, I want to be happy and you only live one life. So that is what you're going to be seeing more of this year is you may see less brands pop up on my channel this year. Who knows what's going to happen, but I'm definitely going to be standing up for myself and saying no to the treatment that I have been given. And you'll also see like other changes, like you'll see more book content on my other channel. You're gonna see more video game streaming probably on my other channel, depending. And you guys wanna see more live streams where I sit back, relax, and we're gonna pick my makeup together and we're gonna do a fun live stream like that. And you might even see more challenges because you guys give me really fun challenges during those live streams that I would really love to implement 
during live streams as well and or just making YouTube content out of it because I just want to have a lot of fun. YouTube is, you know, my place to escape and to have fun. I really do love this job. It's one of the best jobs I've ever had and I just want to go back to having fun with it. And the whole time that I have been talking, my lips have been on fire this entire time. <laughs> It hurts. <laughs> I don't know how I like it because uh, my now my tongue's kind of stinging. <laughs> but yes, that is that's kind of what I wanted to go off. That's kind of what I want to tell you guys about. I'll have everything that I used for my face linked down below. But I'm sorry if I kind of just rant and rambled. I just really just wanted to tell you guys what was going on and whatnot. But either way, I do hope you guys have a beautiful 2024. Like I said, I'm letting everything from 2023 go. So all my frustration towards certain brands, I am letting go. All my frustration towards life personal life, everything I'm letting go. I'm starting 2024 over new, new clean slate. Everything is behind me now and we're just going to move forward. We're going to be happy, bring out positivity and we're just going to enjoy life for what it is. So with that said, guys, that is it for today's video. I really do hope you guys like today's video. If you do, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life. Where you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribe. You guys not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you and I'll see you guys in my very next video. Bye. I will be advocating. For <clears throat> okay, guys, so we're just going to kind of dive right into it. I have a lot of products to try out. A lot of this was sent in PR. Some of this was sent in PR. Some of it was something that I paid for. 2024, not just for my personal and so i'll save that video for i'll save that story for another video first real like sponsorship opportunity and i just feel like it kind of just you know not first real sponsorship op first real sponsorship opportunity that i send you that i create contact with that instead of demanding that i create contact for <laughs> oh my god <laughs>